Hey, it's Aaron, and I'm back on my grandmother's couch. You'll probably notice that the background and the setup of everything in this video is the same as last video. I do apologize for that, but I'm trying to get out a couple of videos back to back, at least record them back to back, so I can have something to put out for you awesome people out there who really make this show possible. Uh, I want to take a quick second and just thank every single one of you that like, comment, subscribe, and do all of the things on uh, YouTube, and I especially want to thank everybody uh, on Patreon who honestly helped me actually pay for my rent this month. So that has been really, really helpful. Thank you so much. Um, and today I want to talk a little bit about mass line organizing because I think it's something that I haven't talked about a lot recently and I think it's something that we need to talk about more all the time as socialists. So let's get into that. Now, recently I released a video that was talking a little bit about how we should, as socialists, be going door to door, canvassing and talking to people in real life, in real space, and trying to actually make a difference or solve these people's problems with socialist solutions. And when I made that video, uh, I got a lot of, for lack of a better word, really depressing comments about every sort of thing about how this is just not going to work. I got people saying that this isn't going to work because they were scared to go out and talk to people. They said that this isn't going to work because people might uh, yell at them if they come knocking on the door. People were saying that this isn't going to work because you might get shot if you go and talk to people at their houses. All of those, I feel, are to different varying degrees of realistic um, now, if you have social anxiety and you feel like you can't go out and go door to door talking to people, that's not something you should do. I 100% agree with that. But as far as uh, you should be getting into something else like agitprop if you possibly can or other forms of activism that allow you to um, actually express socialist ideas without having to talk to people directly. Though, if you're just a little bit afraid of talking to people and you don't have overwhelming social anxiety, I would say the best way to get over that is immersion therapy and to just get out there and try to talk to people more. The more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. But the other two um, ideas that people had saying that, oh, well, people are going to yell at us or slam, our, slam the doors in our faces or they're going to shoot at us. Um, one of those, the being shot at thing, is so unbelievably unlikely that I find it frustrating that people would even say that. Uh, because for the most part, if you haven't actually gone out canvassing, you don't know this, but for the most part, people are relatively cordial to you when you knock on their door. They aren't usually total pricks. Um, sometimes you will get a door slammed in your face. Sometimes you will have somebody yell at you or tell you that they don't want you here to get off your property, sure. Uh, but for the most part, you're not going to get shot at. That's that's just not going to happen. Maybe in a very uh, cliche um, part of the United States South that probably doesn't exist, but only in movies and cartoons is that going to happen. Uh, it is a possibility. Everything is possible. Um, but that's relatively low in the likelihood of... Um, possible things that will happen if you're going out and canvassing. Now, when I'm talking about canvassing and knocking on doors and talking to people directly, uh, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about mass line. Now, mass line organizing was an idea that was created by Mao. <laughs> uh, but it's a great idea. And I think that even people that a lot of us think are terrible uh, can come up with really good ideas once in a while. And this is one of them. And it's one of the ways that socialists have been able to gain traction throughout history and actually be able to go from third world oppressed regimes to being some of the uh, leading superpowers in the world, right? That's how they've gone from being at the lowest to being at the highest, was using, using different forms of organizing, one of which being mass line organizing, which I'm going to talk a little bit about today. Now, mass line organizing is basically a way for the people to be able to use the ideas and um, solutions that socialists have come up with throughout the course of history and actually create, for lack of a better term, um, a, a marching line, <laughs> uh, if you will, for everybody to get behind and actually fight for. So when you're talking about mass line organizing, you're basically talking about this. A group of socialists get together and they have a good understanding of how socialist theory works. 
they go door to door or to unions or to workplaces, some not really to workplaces because that could be really bad, but to certain areas and they go talk to people in their local areas and they find out what those people are having problems with. It could be anything. It could be problems with not being able to find jobs. It could be problems uh, with uh, not having enough money or not being able to have uh, proper housing or possibly having lead contaminated water or whatever it is, not being able to afford health care. And you listen to those problems as the socialist group and you think to yourself, what would Marx do? What would Bakunin do? What would um, uh, Kropotkin do? because we understand a certain amount of the theory, and we take in those ideas, and we think, okay, well, you know what? If you're having a hard time paying for your rent, then maybe that's something that we should march for. If you're having a hard time uh, making food each month, then that's something that we should march for. And you create a line or a slogan or whatever it is that gets people motivated. It's basically a call to action getting people invested in doing a thing that can actually directly help them in their community. And a lot of that has to do with canvassing and talking to people on the local level and finding out what their problems are. The thing about mass line organizing and doing it anarchistically or social libertarianist or whatever you want to call it is that we don't want to do this as a vanguard. Even though we have this group of socialists or a group of people that understand social theory going out there and talking to individuals, we're not trying to go out there and give them our answer. We're trying to come up with solutions with them. And you'll actually find when you talk to people on the ground level, and I've done this so many times, I've gone to restaurants, I've gone to uh, people's houses. Every time I get into a conversation with somebody, I try to bread pill them just a little bit. Um, and you'll notice that people are really receptive to a lot of these ideas. They really want to know more about these sorts of solutions. And they come up with a lot of the solutions themselves. It's really easy for, them a lot, for a lot of them to do it sometimes because given the opportunity to actually sit down on the couch and talk about these ideas with their friends people's brains start to function and fire and start to think and make all these connections and all of a sudden, bam, they got ideas too. Because really, the majority of people, the vast, vast majority of people could come up with workable solutions to the problems within our society much better than the politicians or the uh, bureaucrats or the bosses or the CEOs that run this place did because they have only one goal and that's to fix the problem. Whereas all of the people that are in power right now, their one goal, they only have one goal as well. Their one goal is not to fix the problem. It's to stay in control. So the majority of people are going to be able to come up with wonderful answers, wonderful socialist solutions to these problems. And it's our job as socialists to go out there and guide them and help them and get everybody along the idea that these sorts of solutions are workable and can help. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about canvassing. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying that we go door to door. And when I'm talking about that, I'm not saying necessarily that you just run out there, right, and start knocking on doors as an individual. Obviously, you're going to want to have a certain amount of camaraderie and community to help you do that as well. You never want to do something like that alone. You want to do it with a community of people because they're going to have better solutions than you and you're going to have better solutions than them. And together, you'll have the best solutions possible. So get together with your family, get together with your friends, get together with like-minded people that are out there in your community right now, in socialist groups, in anarchist groups, in Marxist-Leninist Leninist groups or Maoist groups, I don't care what it is, and actually go out there and make a difference. You can do that. It's the way that we've done it for centuries, and it's the way that we've taken backwards countries and brought them to the forefront of being world superpowers several times in the past. These methods work and we have to start working with them and using them or else we're not going to see a real difference. We're not going to see a real change. Obviously, mass line organizing is not the only form of organizing and is not the only solution. I believe in a diversity of tactics and I talk about a lot of other tactics uh, in um, my video series, uh, Re-Education, um, Re so definitely check out that video series. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, 
Thank you very much, like I said at the beginning, to the community of people that support me and help me be able to produce these videos. And uh, we got to make some more communities of our own. So get out there, get active. <laughs> uh, politics is, uh, a, uh, isn't a spectator sport. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Aaron. If you do get a chance, check out my Patreon. Every dollar does help fund this show. And thanks for watching.